Thanks for watching The Nine. Marijuana legalization is on the rise. And while some think it may soon be federally legal in the United States across the board, the laws around cannabis are a little murky and confusing when it comes to traveling. We're getting into spring break season. There's also an international case right now with a basketball player who has been jailed who is in Russia. Um, we are going to check in with friend to the show, Jerry Millen from Greenhouse in Wald Lake, just to find out a nice little refresher for what we should keep in mind as we travel. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Mel, how are you? I'm doing all right. Okay, look, um, I have been following the story of this basketball player. It's interesting, one, to me, that she's been in jail for uh, a month, and we're only finding out about it now, but it looks like she could really be in a tight situation. Yeah, you know, Al, it is very serious when you travel internationally. And I, I travel internationally all the time. I've flown 2 million miles. I've worked in Japan. I've been there 200 times. I've been to Russia actually 50 times. And what happens is when you travel internationally, I think Americans sometimes become a little arrogant and think that the rules don't apply to them. When you're in someone else's country, you have to follow the rules. And she's been, I understand that, you know, Brittany was there for seven seasons. She's played seven years in Russia. And she tried to bring something like this into Russia. Now, when you go into Russia, it's serious business. They shake you down. So you really have to be careful. <laughs> I plead with you, don't travel with cannabis, especially internationally. We get calls all the time, Elle, about, I want to take gummies on the road with me. And what I tell people is like, look, it's on you. I don't suggest you do it. But if you are going to do it, try to travel with an edible, but only do it in the United States. And if you're going from a state where it's legal recreationally, to another state where it's rec recreationally legal. The TSA really doesn't usually hassle you, but put it like in a Ziploc clear bag. I'm not advocating, because right. it's federally illegal, so I'm not advocating for it, but take it out of the packaging and don't ever carry vape pens because the dogs really hit on this because it smells, and or, or flour, you know? I'll tell you a quick story. I was traveling to New York and I yeah. had two Darren McCarty pre-rolls in here because Mac knows his cannabis, and they were in my backpack. I got to my hotel, I opened my backpack and there were two pre-rolls, and I was like, Whew, that's the last thing I need is to get pulled into TSA for right. having cannabis, especially trying to be a cannabis you know, business owner and being responsible. So don't travel. Jerry, one of the things cannabis. I'm thinking about I is kids. It's spring break season. So talk a yes. little bit about uh, Mexico. That's one of the popular destinations as well. Yes. And I think parents also, you know, they might know that their kids have a vape pin or, and it's, you know, parents right. are disciplining right. the kids. Right. But kids might try to put right. it in the backpack and parents should be aware. Right. Unfortunately, vape pens are a big problem, not from the legal market, but from the illegal black market that is running rampant. I'm waiting for our governor to do something about that. But in the meantime, kids are getting a hold of these vape pens and they're putting them in their backpacks or whatever. If your kids are going away to Spring Bake, either to Florida or Mexico, especially Mexico, or if you're going with them, check their luggage before they go. Because the last thing you want, I know people are thinking, oh, Mexico, all kinds of cannabis comes from there illegally. It's got to be okay there. No, you get, you get caught up at the border of Mexico and you got a vape pen or you got some cannabis flour. If kids are watching this or parents, check your kids. Make sure they know when they go on spring break to don't take cannabis. And Whatever lastly, you do, Jared, do I know you're a, a TV yeah. guy. Yeah. If you can give me like 15 seconds. There is also maybe this um, misunderstanding, this entitlement, this arrogance. Oh, I'm American. If something happens, yes. you know, yes. we'll call up the embassy. And th yeah. that is not right. always how it goes. <laughs> No, especially, I went to Asia, and there's a big billboard in Taiwan when you get off the plane that says drug smuggling is punishable by death. And they're serious. One joint in Japan will get you a felony. You cannot play around in these foreign countries. In Russia, if you get caught doing something illegal, they'll beat you down. And I've seen Americans in Russia going, ah, oh, I'll call the embassy, as they're getting beaten in the head. You can't have that arrogance. And one other thing, Mary Ellis, I really want to make it, you know, something else is important, not just Real about quick. not taking it on planes, but we're working with the Oakland County uh, Health Commission, and lock your cannabis up. That's the big slogan. You can get a lock box like this and keep it in your house and lock your cannabis up at home pop that mm. open you can you can you can lock you can lock your cannabis up with a lock so lock it up because kids don't need to get a hold of this and I beg you please yeah. don't travel with it buy it in the city you're going to if you're gonna go somewhere in the US and they got cannabis get it there the rules. it's better to be safe than sorry Jerry Millen mm -hmm. live from the greenhouse Jerry thank you thanks all right Derek, thank over you. to you